look how well I'm fine you were viewing today you guys have been asking me and asking me to try this so yeah today we're gonna be trying the new huda beauty easy blur natural airbrush foundation yeah i've been dying to try these i've got three shades to try we also have the easy bake powder but huda beauty did a kind of like rebranding the logo is different even the color i'm vibing with the new logo and the branding i really do like it and we also have the easy blur primer i'm gonna do half of my face with this half without i love huda beauty brushes so we got a brush as well so we're gonna try all these so this foundation is supposed to give you a no filter needed ultra blurred complexion it's got 1.5 percent skin smoothing niacinamide and pore blurring silica it's like a serum like foundation when i hear that i don't know if i'm gonna like it when i hear serum and foundation but anyways i've been saying this for years now but we'll see how it sits on my skin because that is the key point primer is like a silicone free primer it's like a refreshing jelly like texture and gives a soft focus finish the before and afters on this like i don't know if you guys can see is insane i'm just on the cult beauty website and this retails for 32 pounds which is standard for foundation it's 30 mil so which is what you usually get in all foundations as well this is supposed to last for 12 hours i think this comes in 28 shades and you've got a good variety i feel like there could be some more like, deeper deeper shades and maybe like a more paler shade but you know the in between with Huda Beauty you've got options the only issue I have with Huda Beauty foundations is that a lot of them do kind of come off very warm or yellow on me I've always used Dulce de Leche which is quite yellow I've been wanting to try like the other shades so maybe I'm a different shade in this I don't know my skin's feeling extra extra dry right now so I'm gonna use the Vichy Mineral 89 rich cream I don't know what it is but my skin was doing so well and then I got blam blam spots left right and center and i recently did a skincare routine i'm like oh the evil eye got me <laughs> the evil eye got me because the spots made their appearance and they're gonna do the usual leave a scar and then i'm gonna have to derma roll it and treat it and then they'll go eventually but it's just the pain because i eventually got there with clear skin and then they came back I'm gonna use SPF as well because this is what I always do. I'm gonna use the ultraviolet SPF 50. I'm just doing the usual so nothing's altered. I keep a very stable testing environment here. <laughs> so this is what the foundation looks like. I really like packagings like this because they're just really easy to apply straight to the skin. So this one's uh, Dulce de Leche. I have Butternut Pecan which is 330N, Baklava 340G and Dulce de Leche which is 350G and if I'm going by the letters I feel like Butter Pecan might go on me because I am more of a neutral tone. Um, I'm definitely not golden because it really like shows through as like very yellow on me whilst Baklava and Dulce de Leche with the G I'm guessing they're more on the golden side which is very true for Dulce de Leche. This is the brush super soft and i'm loving the matte handle here then we have the primer i love this packaging if you were to ask me i definitely prefer it to the the older one i love the baby pink against like the almost like gray that's a nice color combo but yeah this is the new packaging of the powder and i think yeah there is the net there but the net has never really bothered me to be honest first before i apply anything i'm gonna do a quick swatch so these are the swatches this is butter pecan baklava and dulce de leche i'm drawn to dulce de leche still but i have a feeling it's gonna be too yellow okay so let's do but oh butter pecan butter pecan i see you that's a good swatch you know baklava i think i'm baklava i'm just gonna blend the edges to see which one <laughs> blends the best and then finally dulce de leche i'm gonna blend that as well this is very hard very hard do you see what i mean by the shade range because like i've got options i could get away with all of these i feel like i'm tempted to say dulce de leche but ugh, i feel like the shade is good but the tone is off for me so i think i'm gonna go with the middle one i think butter pecan is a little bit too it's got too much pink in it for my liking so i think actually the middle one next to the other two looks more on the neutral side in my opinion so i'm gonna go for that one and i think it will probably oxidize naturally like all foundations just a little bit so i think the middle one will be perfect let me just quickly apply my my my, my skincare okay i'm gonna do the primer on this side oh it's like a jelly texture okay i definitely didn't need that much i'm sometimes i feel like i do need 
pore filling primers or something to smooth out my skin because I'm getting way more now which is just natural but okay I really 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 like the feel of this some of my smile lines this crease on my nose let's do the side without the primer I don't think you need a lot with this foundation because it is on the thicker side I thought it would be more liquidy but it's on the thicker side let's blend this Oh, this shade is way better. I feel like I don't use my my Huda Beauty base products enough because I don't have the right like tone in my shade, which is Dulce de Leche, which is what I, what I have at the moment. And that is my before and after. Guys, do you see that? Do you see that? I'm curious to see how it's going to cover my blemishes here, but oh, guys. Mm-hmm. I do not need to do the talking for this. Okay, now onto the other side. I kind of just go like that, and to be honest, that was more than enough. Blemish where? Excuse me? No, 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 no. The spot disappeared. I believe my shade is baklava. I'm just going to put a little bit more to see how this builds and covers my blemishes, a bit on my nose. I don't even need to go down my neck because the shade matches that good. I like to send the other shades that I get to you guys. So if you want Dulce de Leche or Butter Pecan, if you are based in the UK and you want these shades, uh, let me know in the comments and I will pick one of you guys to send these to. They, I mean, they are swatched because I've just swatched them. So if you don't mind them being open, like I've done it with so many of my other foundations because I'd rather it go to use than to waste. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. I use the shade Graham Cracker and it's like one of my favourite concealers. I'm going to go clean this dirty ass, dirty ass sponge. ta -da! Look at that. Beauty Blender Cleansing Soap is the best. Okay, let's blend this concealer. I mean, the concealer's been sitting there. But do you know what? When you let it sit for a bit, that's when you get the best coverage. Okay, I'm just going to go in with my Max Factor Bronzer. Now I'm really seeing how my makeup's building on top of this and right now it's going on like butter. Guys, I know I get gifted these products but I, you guys, I think you guys know by now I would tell you if I don't like something and to be honest most of the time the product just speaks for itself. I mean you can see like I'm literally right up close in your face and I'll also show you guys in daylight because I just had a peek in daylight and it looks good. One of my favourite blushes at the moment is the Huda Beauty blush filter in the shade Watermelon Pop. It's so good. Like every time I'm, I use this it's like oh it's so pretty. Kind of got my nose as well. Okay I've just opened the powder. This is what the base is looking like and I'm really liking it. Do I see a difference between the primer side and the non-primer side? My pores do appear a lot smoother but in terms of everything else i don't see much of a difference i'm not gonna lie all right guys i'm now done the only thing i was i noticed whilst applying my makeup is that on the primer side it's way like stickier and heavier i think it's it, it doesn't it's not uncomfortable and it doesn't bug me but i'm just highlighting that because it is noticeable so you really don't need a lot with this product i feel like a little bit does go a long way i mean my spots were already covered with the first layer i did i am very happy with the way my makeup looks right now it just got to 10 a.m right now so we're gonna wear this for the rest of the day see how this looks but so far it's very very nice i'll insert a clip in daylight and i will see you guys later on today. okay i am using my back phone camera which seems to get everything in detail but this is what the foundation looks looks like in daylight okay i'll see you guys later i just hit 8 p.m so basically almost 12 hours a good 10 hours is is good i think i'm actually i have a few things to say hear me out hear me out i like this side but i don't like this side i do not like the primer side this side looks amazing even after like even even after wearing this makeup for so long it looks so good it, it has gone a bit glowy but i really like that but this side is a no-no. I don't know if you guys can see. Like overall, this side looks really nice, but then this side 
foundation almost has like clung to my dry spots on this side. Like it looks weird. I'm gonna show you. Just dry bits. On this side, it's fine. Even on my cheek, it's kind of like done this weird dry patchy thing. Yeah, I feel like the primer is a big fat no for me, unfortunately. But the foundation itself is really nice. I love the shade. I went out and about. I My skin looked good. Um, it's worn really well. I would only say that it is on the heavier side and you only need the tiniest amount. People seem to be really obsessed about the packaging, but I actually really like the packaging. I've also seen people say that this is super heavy, but if you put a lot of this, it's going to be heavy. And you really don't need a lot. The blemishes are really well covered still, so yeah. I mean, I look a mess. Oh my god, I need to go to bed. And I'm so glad I found my right shade. I'm the shade of back love. But I do have a little bit of dryness on my nose. It's actually stayed on my nose pretty well. Normally, that's where like the foundation goes by the end of the day because I keep touching my face. Like, I don't. I didn't feel uncomfortable wearing this at all. And you know what? After ten hours. So my face looks pretty good. I really like this side. I just don't like this side. So I'd probably give it a solid 8 out of 10. I would say it's it's heavy. It feels heavier than what I'm used to. But then other than that, really good foundation, guys. I would recommend this foundation. It is nice. If you don't like heavy products, do not get it. It won't be for you. And I think this would be great for all skin types, to be honest. So yeah, that's all from me, guys. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you did. Let me know what other products you want me to try. And, um... I'm gonna go to bed now. I'm gonna go to bed because I'm tired. Yeah, thank you so much for stopping by to watch my review, and I will see you in my next video.